Hi friends, welcome to KVR Maths Academy. Today, in this video, let us going to learn 1, 2, 3 problems in exercise 8.4 in similar triangles. Right? Yes, let us going to the first one. Prove that the sum of the squares of the sides of a rhombus is equal to the sum of the squares of its diagonals. Right? Prove that the sum of the squares of its uh, the sides of a rhombus is equal to the sum of the squares of its diagonals. First, uh, according to the problem, draw the rhombus. Yes, do you know the properties of rhombus? A, B, C, D is a rhombus. Here, in a rhombus, all the sides are equal and the diagonal bisect each other at right angles, right? Yes. So, A, B, C. A, B, C, D is a rhombus. A, B is equal to B, C is equal to C, D is equal to D, A. Next, uh, diagonals. Diagonals bisect each other at uh, right angles. So, this is a uh, bisecting point is uh, suppose O. Then, A, O is equal to O, C, right? Next, O, D is equal to O, B. Isn't it? What we have to prove? The... Prove that the sum of the squares of the sides, which means AB square plus BC square minus square plus CD square plus DA square is equal to the sum of the squares of its diagonals, AC square plus BD square. Right? Yes. First, uh, according to the problem, right, what has given? Given. ABCD is a rhombus. A, B, C, D is a rhombus. Then, A, B is equal to B, C is equal to C, D is equal to D, A. Right. Next. And, A, C perpendicular to A, C perpendicular to B, D. A, C perpendicular to B, D. Then, O, A is equal to O, A is equal to O, C. And, O, B is equal to O, D. Right. Yes. R, T, P. RTP. What we have to prove? AB square plus BC square plus CD square plus DA square is equal to AC square plus BD square. That's only enough. The sum of the squares of the sides is equal to sum of the squares of their, their diagonals. Right? Yes. So let us prove. Proof. Look here. First, take a triangle AOB. Triangle AOB is a right angle triangle or not? Yes, exactly. Why? Because they bisect each other at right angles. That's why, suppose take in triangle AOB, in triangle AOB, by Pythagoras theorem, by Pythagoras theorem, the sum of the squares of any two sides of a right angle triangle is equal to the square of the hypotenuse. Isn't it? Yes. By Pythagoras Pythagoras theorem OA square plus OB square is equal to AB square. Isn't it? OA square plus OB square is equal to AB square. Here, by the data, AO is equal to AO. Look here, A OA is equal to OC na. So, OA means half of AC or not? OA means half of AC. So, write down, AC by 2 whole square is equal, whole square. Plus, similarly, OB means half of BD, isn't it? Half of BD. So, BD by 2 whole square is equal to AB square. Right? Yes. Here, AC square by 2 means... AC square by 4 plus BD square by 2 square means 4 is equal to AB square. So that implies AC square plus BD square by 4 is equal to AB square. Have you understood? Yes. Here AC square, AC square plus BD square is equal to 4 transferred in this side for AB square. Okay, so AC square plus BD square, BD square is equal to 4 AB square means how can you write? AB square plus AB square 
plus a b square plus a b square isn't it 4 a b square means a b square plus a b square plus a b square plus a b square for but uh, here a b is equal to b c and b c is equal to c d and c d equal to a d all the sides are equal in your rhombus or not we know that we know that all the sides are equal in a rhombus so that's why in the place of a b square can you substitute b c in the place of a b c d and d a so that implies a c square plus b d square is equal to a b square plus a b square means b c square plus in the place of a b substitute c d c d square plus again in the fourth a b square d a square why because of a b is equal to b c is equal to c d is equal to d a here all the sides are equal in a rhombus otherwise also write down a b is equal to b a is equal to a b is equal to b c is equal to c d is equal to d a right therefore right in reverse a b square plus b c square plus c d square plus d a square is equal to a c square plus b d square so we got rtp or not yes a b square plus b c square plus c d square plus d a square is equal to a c square plus b d square hence proved have you got it yes next second question a b c is a right triangle right angle at b let d and e b any points on a b and b c respectively prove that a e square a e square plus c d square is equal to a c square plus d e square understood in right triangle a b c angle b is 90 degrees next d and e b the points on a b d and e b the points on a b and b c then what we have to prove a e square plus c d square is equal to a c square plus d e square right yes let us prove given what has given in triangle abc in triangle abc angle b is equal to 90 degrees right angle b is 90 degrees next d is the d is the point on ab and E is the point, E is the point on BC, right, yes, RTP, what we have to prove, A e square plus C D square is equal to A C square plus D E square, right, yes, proof, here, triangle A B C, triangle A B E, triangle dbc and triangle dbe all are right angle triangles only right yes first take in triangle abc and dbe in triangle abc in triangle abc look here ab square plus bc square is equal to ac square right ab square plus bc square is equal to ac square because of by Pythagoras Pythagoras theorem right so this is equation number one in the same way in triangle dbe take in triangle dbe in triangle dbe db square plus be square db square plus be square is equal to yes what d e square or not yes exactly d e square it is also by pythagoras theorem so this is equation number two a b square plus b c square is equal to a c square d b square plus b e square is equal to d e square yes see 
we have to prove a e square plus c d square is equal to a c square plus d e square a c square plus d e square so from 1 and 2 from 1 and 2 or add not from add 1 and 2 add 1 and 2 here a b square plus b c square a b square plus b c square plus d b square plus b e square d b square plus b e square is equal to here a c square plus d e square a c square plus d e square right a b square plus b c square plus d b square plus b e square so for getting proof so add a b square plus b e square a b square plus b e square right as one combination other combination is b c square plus d b square is equal to a c square plus d e square right look here a b square plus b e square is equal to a b square look here a b square plus b e square is equal to by pythagoras theorem what can you write a c a e square or not yes exactly a e square plus b c square plus b d square or d b square b c square plus d b square is equal to c d square yes c d square is equal to a c square plus d e square so that is only enough proof a e square plus c d square is equal to a c square plus d e square here since we have to write since in triangle a b square plus b e square in triangle a b e a b e in triangle a b e a a e square is equal to a b square plus b e square right next in triangle d b e in triangle d b e c d square is equal to d b square plus b c square so we should write this one understood here we got no answer so hence proved is it clear yes. next third question prove that three times the square of any side of an equilateral triangle is equal to four times the square of the altitude prove that three times the square of any side of an equilateral triangle is equal to four times the square of the altitude yes first to draw an equilateral triangle of side a so this is a b c is an equilateral triangle of side a right yes so suppose ad is the altitude ad is the altitude of length h meter suppose h right then here bd here this is equilateral triangle no so bc is a then bd is equal to how much yes exactly a by 2 this is also a by 2 why because here this is the equal in equilateral triangle altitude divides this is the point divides side into two equal points right that's why bd is equal to cd then this is a by 2 a by 2 right yes look here take now given abc is an equilateral equilateral triangle triangle of side side a and altitude altitude h right yes next uh, rtp rtp what we have to prove see three times the square of any side three times a square of any side which means three a square is equal to equal to four times the square of its altitude four times its square of altitude means four into h square right my dear friends yes look here now proof proof take in triangle abc in triangle a b d take triangle a d b in triangle a d b by pythagoras 
பைத்தாகரஸ் தியரம் லிக்கியா பை பைத்தாகரஸ் தியரம் AB square is equal to BD square plus AD square yes AB square is equal to BD square plus AD square the square of hypotenuse is equal to sum of the squares of other two sides then AB means A square here BD A by 2 whole square plus AD square this is H square right yes from here here onwards I will write here A by 2 whole A by 2 whole square transfer to this side A square minus A by 2 whole square is equal to H square right yes this is A square minus this is A square by 2 square means 4 is equal to H square 4 4 into a square 4 a square minus a square by 4 is equal to h square 4 a square minus a square yes exactly 3 a square is equal to 4 transfer on this side 4 h square see 3 a square is equal to 4 h square hence proved right so from this uh, what can you say the in equilateral triangle, three times in equilateral triangle, three times square of any side is equal to four times square of its altitude. Right? In equilateral triangle, three times square of any side is equal to four times square of its altitude. Understood clearly? Okay, friends. Yes. If you like my video, please like and share. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Thank you very much.